This is a ship, but it's not a cruise ship, not a fishing boat, military vessel or oil tanker. This is a nuclear power station. Yep, they float now. But floating nuclear reactors are nothing new. In fact, the US's entire Nimitz class of aircraft carriers are powered by small nuclear reactors. Except, never before has the reactor's purpose been to power anything else other than the actual vessel it's been located on. Well, at least not at this scale. It's earthquake resistant, portable, cheaper to construct, and Russia wants to keep making them. In fact, there's been such a rush to this technology that others around the world are trying to compete by designing their own versions. So, is this all hype, or could this really be one of Russia's tools to take advantage of the ever-changing Arctic Circle? This is the academic Lomonosov, a barge housing two 35 megawatt nuclear reactors and the only floating nuclear power station in the world. The two reactors can produce electricity for up to 200,000 people, but the plant's capabilities don't end there. The system also produces 300 megawatts of heating for nearby housing and can be converted into a desalination plant to produce up to 240,000 cubic meters of fresh water every single day. All in all, the plant produces energy that would otherwise require an equivalent of 200,000 tons of coal each year. Completed in 2018, the ship was later towed to its permanent location off of the remote Arctic port town of Pevyek, making it the northernmost nuclear power plant on Earth, further highlighting one of the plant's key advantages. The electrification of rural communities is one of the most difficult challenges in bridging the urban-rural divide and developing remote regions of the globe in general. That's why globally, 80% of people who don't have access to electricity live in rural areas. Developments in small modular reactor technology are going to change this over time, but portable nuclear power plants add yet another layer of flexibility to the solution. Floating nuclear power plants can be moved around to supply power to remote regions wherever they are needed. In this case, the academic Lomonosov is acting as a bridge to power the port town of Pevyek, where the nearby nuclear power plant is in the process of being decommissioned. This can be replicated around the world to power entire towns and cities that would otherwise have to develop expensive infrastructure that can take time to build out. But Russia isn't just interested in using this technology to power remote port towns. Instead, wants to take advantage of a much larger opportunity at bay. The Arctic Circle has been warming at a rate twice as fast as the global average. This means that the thickness of ice has been decreasing, allowing for a higher volume of shipping to pass through its waters, as well as exposing valuable resource-rich deposits. This is an opportunity that the Russian government wants to take advantage of. The country's state-owned nuclear energy company Rosatom is already using nuclear reactors to power two icebreaker ships designed to support the navigation of vessels through the ice-heavy northern sea route. But now, the country has commissioned the construction of four more floating nuclear power plants to power new mining developments in the Russian Arctic by 2027. One of these is the prospective Bamiskia deposit, located in northeastern Siberia, and is expected to produce over $30 billion worth of copper and gold in the first 10 years of its mine life alone. Talking about money, the academic Lomonosov cost a steep $574 million, although this does include over $100 million that was spent on building infrastructure for the town of Pevyek. But the mass production of these plants, using pre-existing shipyards in the future, will drastically reduce the cost needed to build more going forward. The reduced material required to build these plants compared to traditional nuclear reactors only strengthens the argument for their use. These developments are definitely drawing eyes from all over the world. In 2022, the US Department of Energy funded a research study into floating nuclear power generation, 
whilst New Scale Power is teaming up with Canadian-based Prodigy to begin planning for a marine nuclear power station utilising several of New Scale's small modular reactor units. But these projects are years away from ever seeing the light of day, whilst Russia's first mover advantage and investment into unlocking the resources of the Arctic is already beginning to pay dividends. The strategic advantage that these plants allow in supporting isolated areas or helping power resource extraction is obvious to many, so the race to develop this technology over the coming years will be an exciting one to watch.